Hello everybody, this is uh, Trigger Strife of Blank Trigger Gamers, and today's video is about rad pickups, and today is going to be a rad freaking day because I got a lot of stuff to show you, um, so we're going to just start it off with a game that was recommended to me on my uh, PlayStation TV video, where I talk about why you should get one right now, you should check out that video, um, Freedom Wars, focus, 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 yeah, there we go, fight your way to freedom. So this game was recommended to me by Little Dude, who commented on our PlayStation TV video. And I gotta say that I'm really interested in the game. I haven't actually played it, I haven't checked it out. I just bought it and kind of just put it on the shelf. But I was really, I needed to get this game and I can't wait to play it just for the fact that like, it, it looks fun, it looks really fun. And everybody's been saying that this is one of the best games to get on the PS Vita and it's compatible with the PlayStation TV and it's one of the sellers of the PlayStation TV. So that's the first game I got of this month, and it's, it's a pretty rad pickup because I got it for like 15 bucks, which uh, it usually retails for like 20, or a little bit over, but I got it for like $5 off on like Amazon, so it was a good deal. So next up, I got something kind of cool that I've never gotten before, which is an Amiibo. I picked up this Falco Amiibo. It's my first Amiibo that I've ever bought, and I got it for four bucks. I couldn't pass that up. So it, they were on sale. I am i don't really have Wii U systems or anything like that. I have a 3DS and I'm not sure what I could use this on. Um, but honestly, I just like how they look and I like collecting them. They look pretty cool. So I might just leave it in the box and set it up on the shelf. It looks cool. So yeah. Next up, we have kind of like an unboxing thing that I'm going to get do for you guys, which was um, I went to GameStop um, and picked up two games, which I'm going to show you later in the video. But I picked up them for a good price, and then they had this clearance sale. And so they had these little uh, Nintendo, like, um, question mark box, like from Mario, like things that were about a buck each, but they usually cost, like, three dollars so I'm gonna unbox them and see what I get so you guys are gonna see that right now so let's see what we get kind of really don't want to break the seal okay there we go all right let's see what this damn they're really tiny it's like super tiny let's see what this one is okay. ah. what did I get I got a little toad I got a little toad look at that if oh my god you can't even see it it's so tiny look at that thing look look how small that guy is let's see what the next one is try to not break Box is in a Dark Souls boss. You can do this. Next one up. Let's see what we get. Ah, ah, God damn it. Okay. Oh, cool! I got I got a little Princess Peach. That's cool. So yeah, I got Toad and Peach. Now, these things were pretty cool. Like um, for a buck each, um, I can't complain. Like um, yeah, I like them. You could. I bet you if you got like a bunch of them, like you bought like a bunch and then you put them on the shelf, it'd look really cool. So yeah, that's awesome. So now we're going to talk about some cool games that I picked up at GameStop for, and I really don't like GameStop, but they had a good deal, so I, I just went there and got them. I picked up for the PS4 Digimon Cyber Sleuth and Sword Art Online Lost Song, and I got these for about 10 bucks each, and what a deal on this, like, these games usually retail for like 60, uh, or around, they've been floating around 20. Or 30 so that's it's a really good price um so for this excellent yeah like i cannot tell you that this, this is amazing to get these for that kind of price so i haven't played i played lost song a little bit but i've never played cyber sleuth and i haven't played a digimon game since the playstation one game so i'm looking forward to them i'm looking forward to playing them and enjoying them so that's a good uh those are good picks so next up i got metal gear solid 5 the Phantom Pain for the Xbox One. And the reason I got it for the Xbox One is because mainly for the price because I found it on a good deal um, for $7.50 and I couldn't pass it up. I really couldn't pass that up. And I wasn't planning on getting this game because I particularly don't really like how it kind of ends on 5. Um, I kind of like 4 and Rising and kind of would rather have a sequel to Rising, Revengeance, because that game is fun. Um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna get through it. Um, but I kind of wish it was on the PS4, but I got it for a good deal, so I can't complain. Um, as you can see, it's actually still sealed, so yeah, so that was another rad pickup I got. And now we're on to the final thing of the video, which you guys will find interesting is that if you didn't know, Disney Infinity, the uh, collection or the um, series that uh, they made for the PS4 
has been discontinued so you don't get those games anymore and you don't get the uh, the toys and the figurines that go along with it so it's been discontinued and what's cool is that I actually picked this up the uh, starter pack for the Disney Infinity 3.0 for about five bucks I picked these ba this baby up for five bucks from Best Buy they had a really crazy deal crazy sale um, for these and I, it was like a clearance sale and I got this for five bucks so I've never played it. I've heard kind of good things about it. It's kind of like a kitty game and stuff, but it's just really cool to pick this up for five bucks and get a good deal on it. And I like Star Wars, so it's just really neat. So I'm looking forward to just trying this out, seeing how it goes. Maybe collecting more of the figurines if they go cheap, because uh, I would love to have some uh, cool characters on the shelf. Anyways, that was my rad pickup video for today. If you guys enjoy it, subscribe, like, comment, do all that good stuff. Every bit helps. Um, and I'm hoping to bring you some more cool stuff next month. Um, uh, and you guys hopefully will like it. Um, but anyways, I am Trigger Strike for you Blank Trigger Gamers. Telling you to stay triggered, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, then give it a like. If you want more, then subscribe to our channel. So this is Trigger Strifey of BTG saying stay triggered and I'll see you next time.